Welcome to another C++ tutorial. Today I'm going to talk to you about enumeration and in the comments on lines 2 and 3 I describe what that is. It, enumeration provides context to describe a range of values in which are represented as named constants and are also called enumerators. Nothing beats an actual example so the keyword or the syntax for enumeration is enum and then you give it a name. Um, let's say we're going to do a list of ranges say from uh, people's names so name choice and then we put in brackets all the different name choices Mark, Greg, Jen, uh, Chris, Vicky, etc. all the way till you're done um, and then you just close the bracket and semicolon. Now what you just created here was <coughs> These are actually constant integer values. There's no difference in me saying something like this. Um, const integer mark equals zero. That is essentially what's going on, except mark is going to equal zero, Greg is going to be one, and so forth. Jen will be two, and they are always in order like that without skipping any numbers. And then instead of calling it an integer, I'm going to call it name choice. Now this make, this just makes it easier to deal with these ranges without having to remember numbers. So I could do if statements and I can make assignment operators with this. So for example, I could do name choice, which is pretend that's just like saying constant or integer something, you know. So name choice is name choice, that is my data type. My data type is name choice. So name choice, vice president, VP, equals, and now I can give it a name, uh, Greg. If VP equals equals Greg, then do something. I'm just going to print out your VP is Greg. That's all I'm going to do. If VP does equal Greg, which it does. But now let me show you that Greg doesn't actually equal anything besides a constant integer value. So let's print that out too. Greg's value actually is, now let's print out Greg, and it's got to be case sensitive. You can't duplicate the names either within that enumeration. It has to be all unique names. So let's hit F12 and run this, see if there's any errors, and then F5 to actually run the program. So we have your VP is Greg, so the if statement worked. VP does equal Greg, we assigned it that way. Greg's value actually is one. So like I said, zero, one, two, three, four, five. This simply just makes it easier to deal with names instead of numbers all the time. Instead of VP, you know, set VP equal to, to two, what does that mean? Well, it's easier if, if it's Greg. A lot of times people do this with their first programs with um, suit. It'll have like hearts, diamonds, spades. And so you can just use the word heart diamonds and spades for all your, you know, if it's a heart, do this, if it's a spade, do that, et cetera, et cetera, or um, <clears throat> things of that nature. So anyways, you're going to see enumerated syntax, so I wanted to show it to you now. Hope this helps.